generate some interesting effects using the lighting nodes. And one more thing I'm going to show you now is the cast shadow node. Cast shadow node will generate two squares. Manipulate them, we can create a duplicate of our original drawing at a perspective angle in order to create a shadow. leave it at that for now. And if we double click on this, we see that we have various options to define the source and the destination. And then we have various options which to for example blur the top and the bottom of the shadow. Create a fade in the shadow to make it darker. We can also affect the transparency of the top or the bottom of the, of the shadow. But we could also manipulate the shadow in a different way. So, for example, if we wanted to have the shadow as a specific color, we could take out a color card and get a mat, use that shadow. drive the color card instead change the color we can get a more standard gray shadow which is not hugely interesting um, so we could always edit that further so if we take a look at a distort we could have for example curl and noise um, and we could add some noise to the shadow to generate a more interesting effect.